It was a tense day at the courthouse downtown as the defense lawyer John Rosen finally got his turn to attack the credibility of the Crown's star witness, Christopher Quigley, the former pot dealer who said he was beaten and robbed by five former drug squad officers. Quigley had insisted that he was the innocent victim of a brutal police beating and a robbery almost 14 years ago, and that Rosen's client and some of his underlings had pummeled him into a bloody pulp. Quigley had said that he had kept $54,000 in a safety deposit box that belonged to his mother. But when the proceeds were returned from the Toronto police, only $22,000 was there. $31,000 was missing, and he's accused the cops of keeping it. But Rosen accused him of lying, that there never was that much money in a safety deposit box, and there's no way of verifying that what he was telling was the truth. The cross-examination continues tomorrow. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Michelle Mandel.